Hello and welcome to Baki Gaming. In today's The Sims 4 tutorial I'm going to learn you how to make a backdrop replacement and to be more precisely how to edit a Willow Creek skyline backdrop. For all people thinking what the hell is he talking about I will show you right now. After opening Willow Creek go to this neighborhood right here. Then click on this lot and click play. Then in game zoom all the way out. Hit tap to go to cameraman mode and then look in the distance to see the city skyline. This is how the original city skyline looks like. After the tutorial it will look something like this. It's only a small change but this way you can learn how to do it. The programs we are going to use are The Game The Sims 4, a program to open and save DDS files like Photoshop or GIMP, I'm going to use Photoshop and The Sims 4 Studio. For more information about those programs and some download links, look down below in the description. Now let's open Google Images to find an image of a Zeppelin to add to the default Willow Creek city skyline. Therefore type Zeppelin PNG into the search bar and then hit enter. Then search for this Zeppelin right here, click on it, click right here and then click right mouse button and save image as. Save it to your project folder and after that go to the Sims 4 Studio. First fill in your creator name, then go to the object section, choose override and click on object. Then hit Ctrl Shift C to open the cheat console, enter by the bug into the cheat bar and click OK. Now we need to find our city skyline backdrop. To find all backdrops, just type Matty or Mate, I don't know how to pronounce that, into the search bar. To immediately find our city skyline backdrop, type 2cc5 into the search bar. Then click the blank thumbnail and to save it into its own package file, click next. In the following window, name your package file and click save to save it to your project folder. Now we won't have to do anything in the catalog section as we're not going to make something you can buy in game. So let's skip that part and go right to the texture section. Then in the texture section we only need to export this texture right here. To do so click on export, then give it a name, be sure to save it as a DDS file and then click save. A window will pop up showing you where you saved your texture file. After this, close that window and then click the warehouse tab. Then in the warehouse you will find two DST images. We only need to export the first one. So to do so, click your right mouse button and then click on export. Then give it a name, be sure to save as DDS file and click save. Now that we have all textures we need, go to Photoshop and open both City Skyline textures and the Zeppelin. Resize all windows and then place them just as I did. Now select the move tool by pressing V on your keyboard. Then move your zeppelin onto one of the two skylines. Enlarge that window and hit Ctrl 0 to see the whole image. Then to scale your zeppelin image, go to a corner, press and hold Shift and drag it in. Then place it on the city skyline again. To fit it to your screen, press Ctrl 0 again. Then scale some more and place your image on the right spot. So somewhere here. Sometimes when placing images on certain spots of the skyline texture, a part of the image can be distorted. You just have to try and see for yourself if it works. I think the texture in game gets curved in a certain way causing the distortion. After you place your zeppelin on the right spot, double click the background layer. This way we are going to unlock it. Click OK, then be sure that your background layer or layer 0 is still selected. Then press and hold Ctrl and click the first layer's image. This way we make a selection of the zeppelin. After that, click on the channel step. Now make your alpha channel visible by clicking on it. 
be sure that your foreground color is black and your background color white. You can also do this by pressing the D key on your keyboard. Now we're going to make the selection white because everything that's white will be visible in game and everything that's black will be invisible. To do this, press and hold control and then hit the delete key. To deselect the Zeppelin, click control D. Then make all layers visible again and then go back to layers. You can save it as a PSD file now if you want to be able to edit it later on. Now before we're going to save it, we first need to paste the image of the Zeppelin on the exact same spot on our other skyline and edit its alpha channel. To do this, first resize your window again and place the texture above the other one. If you still have the Zeppelin image open, then you can close this one now. Now select the first layer, hold Ctrl and click the image of the first layer to make a selection of the Zeppelin, then press and hold Shift and use your left mouse button to drag the Zeppelin to the other skyline. Then when releasing your left mouse button, the image should snap to the exact same spot as on the other skyline. Now for editing the alpha channel of this skyline, we can use the alpha channel of this one. To do this, click this one, then go to channels and then drag this alpha channel onto the other skyline. Then delete alpha channel 1 by clicking on the bin or right clicking and then hit delete and then you're ready. Now we can save both texture files and then import them back into the sims for studio. Now before saving first go to the layers tab then right click one of the two layers and choose flatten image. Then go to file save as save as a dds file and hit save. Yes, I want to override. In this window, choose DXT5 and generate MIP maps, then click save. Now do exactly the same for the other texture. So go to layers, right click, then flatten image, go to file, save as, DDS file, click save. Yes, we want to override. DXT5, generate MIP maps and click save again. After this, go back into the Sims 4 Studio. Back in the Sims 4 Studio, go to the texture section again and click on import. Then select the right DDS file and click on open. As you can see, the Zeppelin appears on this texture too. After this, go to the warehouse. For this image, click right mouse button and select import. Also here, select the right DDS file and then click open. And as you will see, also in this texture, our Zeppelin will appear. Now the last thing we need to do is press save right here. Click OK and then place your package file into your mods folder and then let's test it out in game. In game, open up Willow Creek and do the exact same thing as I explained in the intro of this video. You should now see something like this. Using this technique, you can also change the whole skyline image to something new. For some examples, click the video link at the end of this video. If you like this tutorial and you want to support me and the modern community, please give it a like and share it so more people will be able to find it. If you still have questions, please ask them in the comments below. More tutorials will come, so if you don't want to miss them, please subscribe. Have fun making your own backdrop replacements and see you next time here on Bikey Game.